An Omniscript is basically a guided process. It's a process that is going to guide a user through a certain of business requirements. Omniscripts can be compared to screen flows somehow, and they both have a certain number of characteristics. They're guided interactions, they have branching logic, they can uh, read data from Salesforce or write, call Apex, uh, use custom Lightning Web Components embedded, etc. However, the Omniscript is more thought from the point of view of an external user uh, following this business process, somebody do, who is not an expert on Salesforce, which is not savvy in Salesforce, right? And the screen flows are thought from the point of view of a process, okay? And they have simplified components. They are probably not as rich in the UI, uh, user uh, interface, user experience, as the ones for Omniscript. And the integration with external data sources, it's a little weaker or a little more complicated to achieve. Now, as a summary, we would say that if you are facing an external customer or partner, you will prefer to develop Omniscripts. If you are facing an employee, probably your first approach will be to go for flows, screen flows. However, of course, if you have deployed an industry, SFI, okay, you might prefer to use Omniscripts. Why? Because we have quite a lot of out-of-the-box components, plus we have an uh, industry process library that you can leverage that contains a lot of Omniscripts already pre-built.